Hey and welcome. Today we are going to do an extreme test of the Bass Pro Shops Gore-Tex Guidewear and uh, this is an in-field review. This is not an open the box and hey, ooh, I like it, okay? This is me wearing this. This is the fourth time I've worn this suit. The first three times it was a little bit of rain and a little bit of wind. This is an extreme test and I felt that it was good for a perfect review uh, to give anybody who is interested in getting a wind and rain suit. So watch a little bit of the uh, video of um, me giving my infield review and then at the end I'll give you a total review from how it fared out throughout the day. Hey, so today we're doing a review on the Bass Pro Shops Guidewear. It's a very comfortable suit. It's uh, more of a summer rain suit. Right now it's uh, February in Florida. It's about 55 degrees. Um, anyway, so it is raining. It's going to be raining all day and I have a tournament. So we're going to give it a workout and I'll give you a review throughout the day. So hey, a little update on the suit. Um, it's been about two and a half hours. It's still downpouring out. Um, I'm not wet underneath that I know of, but the material itself seems wet. Now I don't know if it's going through the second layer. I'm going to find out later. I've been sitting on the seat. Um, my butt seems wet, but it's just probably cold. So again, I'll find out if it uh, totally seeped through. And because this is supposed to be rain gear. But it is comfortable and it does keep 95% of the wind off. So that much I'm happy with. Again, it is uh, not for cold weather. Um, you know, it's kind of just raw out today. And I've got a sweatshirt, a black fleece, and then this. And I'm, I'm perfectly comfortable. Some people may be too hot, you know, everybody's a little different. So hey, it's been about three and a half hours of fishing. Got a couple of fish, but the suit's holding up. Um, again, I don't think I'm wet. I think just where it looks like it's seeping through, it just makes you colder. Um, but again, as I said, uh, you know, once we take this off, we will find out. But I don't feel wet. Um, beating off nice on the top just the thighs well it's really downpouring now and uh, the hoods holding up my neck my back everything seems fine it is very very it is a comfortable suit um, when I get home I'll show you the cuffs on the inside they're neoprene and uh, you know I'll go over more of the suit so this suit is just so comfortable it's incredible um, it's like just wearing light pajamas all day. So, we're still going strong in the suit. It seems like it's getting wet, but it's not. So, um, it's doing pretty good. I've been out six hours and it has been pouring the entire time. So, there are more expensive suits, but so far for the money, it's doing right. We'll find out by the end of the day. So hey, we are seven and a half hours in, and it is still downpouring. Um, it's doing good. I'm warm. It's uh, definitely heavier. Uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, it's warlock, but it's not really getting to me. So again, you know, I just want to keep giving you updates. But at the end, when I take off my jacket, uh, I actually did zip down my jacket a little while ago. My chest was uh, dry. So. Um, you know, and I did 40 miles an hour a couple of times, uh, you know, just zipping around and in this stuff. So, uh, it's, so far it's been doing pretty good. Yeah, it's 2.23, so it has been raining. We, we launched at 6. It has been raining for eight and a half hours straight. So, the rain kind of finally let up, and uh, we're still pretty dry. I can feel some kind of damp spots. You know, again, I keep saying I'm going to check it out, but, uh, you know, it's been almost uh, eight and three quarter, almost eight and three quarter hours. And um, it, it. Oh, big otters. <laughs> I was like, what's coming through? And uh, I got an otter coming my way. Hello, otter. <laughs> so he wasn't expecting me to be there. Ah, well, you know what? I'm pretty much sure the bass fishing right there is no good anymore. 
So hey, thank you for watching me test that. Now we're gonna go over a few of the items that I had mentioned in. One was the cuffs being neoprene, okay? So it has really nice, um, soft, stretchy, thin neoprene. It really does, uh, it does not snug on your wrist. It's just a really comfortable fit. As you can see, it's uh, pretty wide. The actual cuff's about an inch and a half wide. Um, it is extremely comfortable. So um, this is actually, I just got this out of the truck. It's still a little damp, but um, it did its job, okay? The hood, the hood does have an adjustment in the back uh, to pull, and it will make it a little tighter. Um, the visor, um, I didn't have it adjusted in front, and in some of the video, you might see I have the visor flipped up. That's just because I did not adjust the hood. So, I'm gonna score this in uh, a couple of things. We're gonna have comfort, wind, dryness, pockets, and how easy is it to go to the bathroom? So, for comfort, I can't say, okay, let me back up a little bit. This is one of the first expensive suits I have bought. All my previous suits are $100 and below. There are maybe better suits than this. I've seen suits that are $1,000, $700, $500. This suit was $400, the top is $200, the, uh, the bibs are $200, but if you buy them together, Bass Pro Shops was, they may still be, having a sale where it's $100 off or $50 off per garment. So I picked up the bibs and the jacket for $300. So this would be like an in intermediate price suit. So um, as far as comfort, the suit is very, very light. And when I say suit, I'm gonna talk jacket and bibs as a whole. Um, comfort, as you can see in the video, I can't say enough. It is, you don't even know you're wearing it. It is, I mean, it is that comfortable. Okay, for wind, okay, the top speed on my boat is uh, 43 miles an hour, and I did that like four times during the day and in the rain. So um, uh, it, for, for windproof, you know, it's kind of hard to tell the body and of course the legs and everything. No wind at all came through. If anything, it was from the openings uh, around the neck and you, no suit unless you have neoprene around your neck is gonna stop that. So I'm gonna give it a score of 95 out of 100 for wind. Um, you know, again, th this is my personal opinion. Um, there, you know, I'm sure there are better suits out there, but we're gonna score this one as I know. Um, for uh, dryness, I was out there in, it was a nine hour tournament. I was out there eight and a half hours before it decided to stop raining. Um, it it might have, you know, calmed down a little bit, but it rained all eight and a half hours. I sit down a lot just because of my back. So rain falls on my lap and, um, and of course I'm sitting on a wet seat. Throughout the day, it felt like my legs were wet, but they weren't, they never ever got wet. The, uh, the water beaded off the Gore-Tex everywhere, except for the thighs. And that's where, you know, I could feel the, the coldness of the rain. Um, you know, it wasn't bad, obviously. And I just had plain uh, pants on. Um, I didn't have any long underwear or anything like that. But my, pant my thighs were never wet, even though it, the material was wet on just the thighs. That was the only place on the suit that I actually saw it kind of soak in, but it's two layers and it never passed the second layer. Um, it did soak from sitting down so much. Some did thro soak through the zipper, so the front of my pants were a little wet. Um, you know, it, I, I really didn't even notice it until I took the suit off. And, um, but I mean, they re for, for zippers, I don't know how waterproof zippers can be. For, if you were standing up all day, it does have a flap. Water would shear off and all that. Okay, I'm sure pretty much somebody's not gonna sit down. You know, I probably sat down six and a half hours of the eight hour of the nine hour day so yeah water water is going to get in there i don't think there's a suit alive that that wouldn't happen to so these are just my honest opinions and take everything with a grain of salt pockets um i paid for the tournament in the morning and i had a wad of cash i stuck it in my chest pocket okay when i took it out at the end of the day it was bone dry there was not a speck of water on my money so as far as pockets I'm gonna give it 100. And I'm gonna back up a little bit for the dryness, okay? And the suit itself, um, let me go back to dryness. Uh, the suit itself, around my cuffs on the pants, they were wet, but my boots, which were Wolverines, actually filled up with water. So 
my pants really got wet from the boots. I don't think it really got wet because of the water coming off of uh, the suit itself. Um, again, uh, the zipper leaked a little bit, but I was sitting down, of course, and water's gonna puddle in there as you're sitting down, you know, because the suit goes up and down or whatever. Um, everywhere else, the back of my neck, inside of the suit got wet, but that's my fault because there was a lot of times when it was raining, it wasn't raining that bad, and I took the hood off, of course, water gets in the hood, and then I go to put it back on. You know, it. I wasn't cold or anything like that because I had a hoodie on underneath. And my hat was already soaked from not wearing the, um, you know, the uh, guide wear hood. So some of that was my fault. So I'm not going to score anything around the neck. Overall dryness, 95, 98 percent. I thought it was really good. And then um, let's go on to uh, using the bathroom. So if you're a girl, well, you got to take the suit off. Um, for a guy, it was actually, I've heard some things about other Bass Pro Shops, their 100 mile an hour suit, where the zipper doesn't go down far enough. This zipper goes down pretty far. There is like a neoprene flap uh, prior to that, um, af, you know, past the zipper. And um, it, it's, it's actually pretty easy. You don't have to undo your straps or anything like that. So. Um, for using the bathroom, you know, yeah, it's a uh, 95%, you know, um, nothing's ever a hundred percent. Um, so overall the suit fared very well. I was extremely happy with my purchase. Um, it's even, I'm even more happier because I got a hundred dollars off. So if you were to pay full price for this, is it worth it? Yes. Um, getting a discount, it, it's even more worth it. Also the suit I bought was a size large. So as far as fitment, I'm, I'm five, seven and a half, 177 pounds, and the suit fits me perfect. It's not, it's plenty loose. I, I mean, I had no, no problems casting all day, bending over, um, getting stuff out of my locker. I never felt restrained uh, in the crotch, in the armpits, anywhere. It, and it's not too loose. It's not like it was baggy and overflowing, okay? You can see the fitment on in the video. So, um, Overall, I would give this suit a night, you know, obviously I bought cheaper suits, but I would give this a 95 to 98% uh, overall rating on the suit. I don't even know how to make it a little better. Um, even though the thighs didn't soak through, that was, you know, uh, they, they were wet. I don't know why the water didn't bead there, but it beaded everywhere else. So um, that's the only negative thing I have to say. But the water didn't go through. My thighs were actually dry. My crotch was wet because it soaked through the zipper. But hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Take it all to heart. Take it with a grain of salt. Make your own decision. Um, if I was to buy an, uh, another suit, would I buy this again? Yes. So take care and until next time, tight lines.